spectacular. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm being transported somewhere. Pokey. Uh, I love pokey, but it's Friday. I was kind of hoping for some drinks. You and your cocktails. You're so needy. <laughs> you know what? I think we should just check out their fridge. Maybe they have something. Fridge? We, we can't go in their fridge. What are you talking about? Trust me. All right. I'll trust you. Welcome to my office. <laughs> Welcome to San Diego's most authentic Tiki bar. It's like a cave. Where did you bring what? me to? Right. You said amazing. you wanted a drink. Weren't yeah. satisfied with pokey, so. You, Jesse? Oh, yeah. Coming in that freezer, wow, thinking you need a little fire. That was amazing. You're welcome. Yeah, and it looks tasty, too. <laughs> it's literally getting right? hot in here. Yes, so, you know Matt, right? I think the world knows Matt by Old now. Old friend of the show, yes. I thought I would surprise you and introduce you to another incredible place. So, we're at the Grass Skirt. I'm surprised. With the one and only Matt Spencer. Thanks for having us. Really nice to have you guys. Thanks for having <laughs> me back. This is great. So, we're no stranger to your other concepts we've been to Kettner Exchange Firehouse very down this close down the street Firehouse what made you establish the grass skirt and everything magnificent uh, that it is you know I have some good ideas and I have some crazy <laughs> ideas this might have fallen in that category we had done a lot of creative concepts and we were in Chicago doing some R&D and we stumbled into um, a really cool tiki bar called three dots and a dash mm. and it was very over the top it had a Disneyland vibe, but also kind of a dark vibe to it. We thought, Tiki, we could do that in San Diego. <laughs> you can, yes you can. And Tiki's so big, I mean, the first time I came here, I was blown away because it is. It's like I transported, like you said, into an amusement park. And there's so many more elements that go with that here and surprises, drinks on fire, a lot of little creative yeah. things. Look at the food, the table alone, I mean. Oh yes. Yeah, oh, the bao buns are amazing. No, but you hit on a good point. I mean, when you walk up, and I don't want to give away too many secrets, but when you walk up, it appears to be two different businesses. You know, the a tiki bar with no door that you can't figure out how to get into. So you, you kind of poke into the next door and say, excuse me, how do I get into the tiki bar next door? And they're like, follow me. And so through the pokey shop, there is a entrance to get in here. We That's love surprises, different. right? Uh, Jesse was amazing. clearly surprised. Yes, yes. But tell us about the bao buns, right? So the bao buns are interesting. Um, I wasn't as familiar. Our chef from Kenner Exchange is uh, award-winning chef Brian, uh, Brian Redzikowski. And basically, we make the bao buns from scratch. And, and wow. they're steam buns. And I think they take four to five hours to make. We make all of them here in-house. I think we do a Korean short rib. We have a, a tender belly bun. and. These things just go, I, I jokingly call them Asian tacos because I live in San Diego, right. but yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> and your food, I mean, it's not like you just create a restaurant or a concept restaurant. You go the extra mile and you have award-winning chefs, like you said, who create the most creative dishes. No, I appreciate that. I mean, when we went to do this, Brian, who's our uh, chef, Brian, who's our corporate chef, was basically like, oh, Tiki, interesting. And he came back the next day and he's like, he showed me this amazing menu, tried all these things, and I thought, this is way better than a tiki bar. Most tiki bars are fried food and that kind of stuff. He took it to the next level with ramens, and these are the salmon cones. And I was kind of thinking like Pacific Beach, that high-end food, and basically he said to me, it's either my way or the highway. And I was like, great, we're going to Tiki Town. Well, his way works, right? I mean, all of your other restaurants, food is amazing, drinks are amazing, and then you have the aesthetics. Everything around us, the attention to detail, it, it's amazing. Yeah, Jesse wants, wants a skull, so he wants to buy your skull drink. <laughs> rum. Tell us about rum. You have yes. a rum lover's club? We do, we do. Okay. We, uh, 
another my uh, my my uh, mixologist and, and head beverage guy was like, look, you know, we can do 10 or 12 rums, or we can do 250 rums. And I thought we're never going to sell no. that. But it, I think back to that tiki culture, it kind of gives you street cred, right? There's yes. there's the like I'm I'm kind of a fake tiki bar, or I'm taking this really seriously. So we have a 250 um, bottle rum selection. And we started to get some people that got really interested in it, kind of like you know tequila or mezcal. People are really getting interested in rum, and uh, we close the restaurant down for an hour before we open. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a two hundred dollar deal. You get a special pin with like a skull, and we get um, we fly guys in from um, all over the world to talk about rum, the rum makers. And so you sit here at the bar, you learn a lot about rum. It's a really special thing. I thought we'd sell like zero, or I would be the only guy sitting there. <laughs> a lonely we've guy got about, the bar. We're approaching 40 people in our rum club right now. Wow. Yeah, serious. Too yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah there we go. There you go. Yeah, right here. <laughs> I like that. I want one of those pins that you're wearing. I noticed it. I said, <laughs> we're going to have to start talking here. Yeah, <laughs> so, what's cool too is that, I mean, so humble that you always think your ideas are never going to work, right? And then they explode. But you're really, truly, we talked about this before, changing the culture of PB and what people think about it into a higher level. That's that's something that hits home with me. I mean, I'm a former volleyball player to my friends who know me really well. Um, <laughs> so I've lived here in PB a long time, and it's the breaches are great. Food's not always so great. And there's, you know, there's a handful of restaurants that are trying to make a difference in Pacific Beach. And I feel like, you know, with us at Firehouse and here at Grass Skirt, Tower 23, the patio, there's some nice places and it's starting to kind of turn the corner. I and mean, it's not a culinary hub, but there's some oases, if you will, you know, here in, in Pacific Beach now. You're bringing that downtown vibe here because it's all done very classy, the presentation and yes. of course the taste. Is you know, I think people care about what they eat now. You know, we kind of came off the, you know, top chef generation and it's, it, you know, it, it needs to be farm to table. It needs to be made in house because people are much more sophisticated, I think, than they used to yeah. be. Yeah, and we said, before they want an experience. I don't want to come and just my food's here. Right. I'm like, what are you gonna get? Well, me? all of this is an experience. That fire yes. was an experience. Oh right? yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Trying to get inside is an experience. <laughs> yes. And I think too, you know, at, you know, Kenner Exchange, we're very serious. We have a great wine list and the great food. But I think it's interesting to juxtapose high-end food and fresh cocktails with fresh juice with fun. Yes. I've had people sitting at this kind of round thing here, and uh, one of the scenes will go off if you, you know, the, the drink that you got. Yes. And, uh, you know, phones come out, people almost fall off this thing, and it's a, it's a whole interactive experience. <laughs> I love it because it's like, I mean, I grew up with Gilligan's Island, so that's what I feel like I'm like, ah! There's no way you grew up with Gilligan's <laughs> I Island. I swear. Yeah, way Don't too let it pull you yeah. Rerun. But it is, I love it. You created this experience. Congratulations. We have. Any surprises coming up for Grass Skirt? Yes, for the adult kids. There you go. <laughs> this guy right here. Yeah, post 10 o'clock, we have DJs come in and we get some dancing going on. Um, we do a Sunday brunch, just a lot of fun. Yours truly blows a little dust off the vinyl and comes in and DJs a little bit. <laughs> I got to see that. Marvin Gaye. Right? <laughs> that we got to see. All right, Matt, we're going to dig in. Cheers to you. Cheers to you guys. Got, Cheers. Thanks again. For, I got? You have the tipsy tentacle. Cheers That's one of our big you sellers. You have the tipsy tentacle. <laughs> Cheers. Many more fun to come. Great having you guys. Thank you. resolutions are really hard to stick by. I brought us somewhere today kind of funky and different because I know you like to work out, right? I do every single day, but I'm always down to try something different, yep. especially with you two. I mean, I'm a little nervous. You said we're going to get really hot today. It's going to so. be really hot. Yep. Uh, are okay. you ready? I might be. Okay. <laughs> All Let's right. go. Let's, Let's go do it. Do it. It is warm in here. So it you brought us to Salt Hot Pilates in Bankers is, Hill. It is warm. What made you bring us here? We're here with the owner, Betsy, just to learn a little bit more about what they, they just opened. Yeah, we've been open for three weeks. Um, so we are an all matte Pilates studio where about 70, 80% of our classes are heated with infrared um, to kick it up a little bit so and make Pilates a little bit more uh, fiery. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. I didn't know you could make Pilates more challenging. 
Here we go. Yeah, and a lot of people don't even know about Pilates, so maybe if you can just share what part of the body does Pilates really focus on? The whole thing. Okay. Um, Pilates is really based around this concept of centering. Centering is the idea that all of your movements are stemming from the power of your abs and your trunk. Um, so it's not just like your six pack, right? But your trunk is your back and your obliques and everything involved with that midsection of your body where all of your power comes from. So uh, in a 50 minute class, you'll get a whole body workout and the lights or the heat, I should say, give you like a really nice cardio effect to get your heart going. So it sort of hits every single aspect of exercise. Ooh, love Literally. That. <laughs> You're the only hot Matt Pilates studio in San Diego, right? Yes, that's first like, and only. That's so exciting. So. This is my favorite thing to do. I love hot yoga, I've loved hot yoga for years, but I always injure myself when I go to yoga because there's not a focus on form, or if there is a focus, I get like too ego driven, and I just wanna like lift my leg really high. I wanna just like hit the pose, so I end up like over stretching, over injuring myself. Um, and so when I leave Pilates, or I mean, I've been teaching Pilates for years and practicing for years, but when I leave a Pilates class, I feel strong and functional in my movements. Um, and I wanted to bring that to sort of like the hot yoga environment that I love so much um, and the type of classes that I really enjoy. So, That's so cool. here we are now. Perfect. So does Pilates provide any like health benefits for people with injuries that might have, you know, gone to a doctor? Totally. And, okay. It's actually, I mean, in my opinion and from what I've heard from all of my clients is that it's like the most recommended type of exercise to do when you're injured because it is so low impact. It is so restorative in the sense where you're stretching and strengthening at the same time. So even though you're working and you're working really hard, you're lengthening and you're opening up and we can modify for anyone and anything at a moment's notice. So if you're pregnant and you can't lie on your stomach, fine, we'll put you on all fours. If you have a knee injury and you can't kneel, fine, you can sit down, you can stand, you can do whatever feels good. And the nice thing is, is that you're on the mat. So I feel the machinery can be a little daunting, a little overwhelming. and. Um, even just like standing on top of that machine, you know, like having that height taking you away from the earth makes people a little more nervous or, or like, like unbalanced and scared. Yeah, it can it's really be intimidating. intimidating. And I feel like being on the floor, you have, and our floors are really squishy, which is nice, but you have like less fear and like more um, of that sort of go for it energy where you just, like let your body move and listen to your body and if you need to sit down, you sit down. Well, yeah. you're awesome. just on the ground. Awesome teachers too. I know the you best have teachers. an awesome lineup. The I've best seen teachers. And across a couple different studios in San Diego. So you've got the best of the best here. Totally. I have been, I mean, I'm sort of um, an instructor snob. I am like a groupie for the instructors that I love. I'm ride or die. I will go to their classes all day, every day, but nothing makes me angrier than going to exercise and not getting a good workout or not seeing a personal face or have somebody smile sense. at me or like touch me yeah. and, and adjust me and make sure that I'm doing everything right. It's definitely a community because I feel like every studio, you can go to any studio, but you choose the community and like the vibe. So what's the vibe of this place? All the way down to like the oh, the way people come in, is there music playing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? My vibe, I want to say, and I and this might sound like a little ridiculous, but my vibe is just like cool, calm, collected. Okay. You know what I mean? Sure. You walk in, there's music that you like, there's that you want to be listening to, that's like gonna pump you up. Like that's the name of the game. I wanted to create like this fun, swanky environment that like LA and New York has, but San Diego, right. we don't have it. Unless it's like a spin studio, but there's like no fun Pilates studio. So I really wanted to like have banging music and the nicest girls working here who were gonna make you feel really welcome and, and really warm and energetic and friendly while they're kicking your ass in class because then when you're sweating and you're vulnerable, you know, like you're exercising and you don't feel like the sex, I mean, I feel really sexy when I work out, but not everybody feels like so sexy when they have like streams of sweat. Definitely not. Falling like, off oh, yeah, so sexy. Yeah, which is not. why we need to have the nicest <laughs> girls in town working yeah, here. Absolutely, so. now there we go. Yeah. Hey. So that was, that was the community that I really went for and I am lucky to, I don't know, to just have found the girls that I found yeah. and I'm to have the team that I have. I mean, they are so. So you yeah, say we go to ass. zero to 100 really quick. Does that mean, is that the temperature it's of the real room? Quick. It's, it's real quick. It's like, right. real, real quick. Real quick. So first real off, quick. Real quick. <laughs> first off, it's, we go zero to 100s real quick. Okay. Zero so to 100. She's going to show us. I'm going to show you. Okay. But it's a Drake lyric. It's a play on a Drake lyric. Okay. Um, 100s is the 
uh, main Pilates exercise. Okay. It's what all, and what they say in Pilates is that you can find every exercise in each other. Oh God. Um, so you know like in yoga there are like all these different poses, in Pilates there are all these different exercises, yeah. and so 100s is like our flagship exercise, and so. Okay. okay. We're about to good, find good out, right? We're about to take a class with you? Yeah. Yes we are. Okay. All right, you guys, come on in. It's war. I'm sweating, I'm not even moving. You know, being under infrared light is like the equivalent of running two miles in one hour. Guys, great job. Woo. Felt the glow, felt the sweat. That was fun. I am dripping in sweat. Thank you so much for Oh my that. gosh, that it was, was my fun. pleasure, you guys. Thank you so much for coming. I had so much fun with you. Yeah. We're gonna be back? Yes, we are. Hello. Hi. Hey, Tani. Hi, guys. Two for one. Not a bad day. <laughs> it is crazy. So driving up here, I honestly didn't even know that this place existed. Two years ago, there was really nothing out here, and they started building. And this really was a recycled rock quarry, kind of no man's land. It didn't. There was like nothing out here. It's a new metropolis. No. And in the best area. I mean, this is Michigan. Yeah, Valley, it's right? one of the most <laughs> local areas I've ever lived in. I live right here in this neighborhood, and to be 10 minutes away from everything just blows my mind. It's about 200 acres, and they're working on currently finishing out about 600 homes. In addition to that, they're going to build another four or 500 more. So it's just expanding over here like crazy. And the nice thing just down the street, they're making a whole like um, shopping center, almost like one Paseo, but bigger, but that type of setup with like high-end stores, high-end luxury living there as well. So you can walk to everything from here. So for somebody that wants walkability and doesn't want to be all the way downtown, because this is so central, this is really an awesome place. I mean, it's Mission Valley's already great, but now you're gonna get a little taste of like the La Jolla living, the Del Mar living, yep. so a little bit of North County. And it's nice coastal. to have that North County in the metro area now. Yeah because we've been getting a lot of buyers coming in from Rancho Santa Fe, from La Jolla, that want that city living where they can just walk down to the store, walk home with their ingredients for dinner the same night. Right? Well, it's all about lifestyle. Which... Oh, everything. <laughs> I mean, everybody wants Mr. walkability. Mr. Lifestyle himself. <laughs> but everyone wants the ability to walk places, like to dinner, to go shopping. They want to have fresh things every day. So this really, for this location, nowhere else like this kind of exists in San Diego in an urban environment let alone to have an elevated penthouse with high-end finishes and something like you'll find in La Jolla, but being able to walk right down to the market or take a 10-minute ride to the airport and leave town. So check out this view. Oh my gosh. What more do you need? This is fantastic. Well, the interesting thing, see how this park I kind of wraps all the way around? Like it starts up there. It goes all the way to the complex I was talking about. And I see like they've included some of the rocks from the old rock quarry. So not only are they including a lot of rocks and a lot of different historical features from the rock quarry, if you look close enough, you can see an old tractor and some old kind of metal pipes and um, drills back from it was a quarry back back, so they're back keeping, in the day. Keeping and the heritage. They're trying to keep the heritage. Oh, tractor. And they've made it kind of a play area out, the, out of that for kids. That's, that's so awesome. That's amazing. If you look around this way, <laughs> you see a multi-million dollar recreation center. That's just for the neighbors that live here. So going back that's to- That's my pool? That's yeah, your pool. Going back to an <laughs> elevated lifestyle, we're up in the sky, looking at this view, looking at the clubhouse that's basically yours. Anytime you want to go for a swim, there's two pools, two spots. You're welcome to come. Chef's Kitchen. <laughs> and it's like the sporting club or like the bay club. And I mean, that is so nice. It looks like a resort, honestly. It does. Like, well, we should a... go over there and see if it feels like a resort yeah. <laughs> because that's when you're really gonna get the vision of what it looks like. Well, I didn't bring my bathing suit, but I'd love to check it out. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
guess. <laughs> well, isn't this nice? Talk about resort living. This is perfect. So over here, there's this great gym. It's like a first class. Like you have the treadmills over there while you're hanging out at the pool. Like Christopher's a barbecue. There's a kitchen in here. My favorite there? thing are the cabanas. Uh, clearly the yeah. private that's cabanas. That's where I spend my time. You go to Vegas, that's and like a couple thousand dollars. when it gets a little later in the night, I like to hop over in the jacuzzi. This is awesome. And then of course you have your private park. Honestly, you can see the house from here. That's that right was there. the best right one. Right there. It's the best unit in the whole neighborhood. Clearly. It has, it has the best view and you walk down the stairs right here, right to this. I mean, you're here in one second. Honestly. So is, it's like your own amenity. And you my favorite part about it. it, you don't have to take care of it. That's my favorite <laughs> part about it. That is the best. Which is great. Who wants to take care of it? And then you want to go shopping all day. You can come back and relax in the pool. Can you rent this whole thing out? You can rent a part of it out. And it's the end right over there. But you have your own patio, your own kitchen, and your own private area to host any party you want. And what I love too is that even this part's private. So I saw that you had to get a key to get in here. So everything's so secluded and private it's at the like same private, time. It's like private, safe, like no one can come in from the outside. Owners only. So unless you own in the neighborhood, like you can't it. hang out here. <laughs> so what else do you guys have up your sleeve today? Well, we have one more thing that's a friend of Christopher's, which I thought was a great idea because these are all really contemporary architecture. And we thought that we would go visit my friend Michelle over at her furniture store, Hold It, in Mission Valley. They sell contemporary high-end European furniture, which is a great fit for almost any home in the neighborhood here. Or my unit when I buy it. So. Exactly. Definitely. Let's go get a head Let's start. Let's go. <laughs> a cool store. How do you guys know about the store? I know, right? Well, living here in Mission Valley, it's right by my house and it's kind of a bad thing because every time I come in here, I find something to go home with. Well, the amazing thing is like this furniture looks so good where we just came from, like a contemporary home with high ceilings. It looks really awesome. Like be this right here? Yeah, this that looks so cool in the house we just in. Perfect. It matched the iron that goes up the stairs. And that's what's store. so good about the store too, being in such a close proximity to where these homes are being built, they have a good idea of what the people want. Mm -hmm. So they curate the designs that fit well in those homes. So it's the perfect place to shop. Yeah, that's it's, amazing. it's what's happening now in design and architecture, which is great. And speaking of that, right up the hill in Hillcrest, I have a new listing, which we're gonna preview next time. But this stuff would look so good in there because it's a 1500 square foot town home, walking distance to everything in Hillcrest off Normal Street. Priced under 800000 Oh my God. For three bedrooms, two and a half bath. <laughs> you can walk to ev literally everything. I can't so. wait to see it. And it's then awesome. you can, of course, come here. And pick up everything. And yep. pick up a little bit of everything. But also, being real estate agents, you kind of have to have an eye for that, too, we, right? We do, because a lot of our clients trust our judgment for what would look good in their home. Either they don't have the time or they don't see as much. And so sometimes they're not as secure in picking and, stuff out. So they count on us. Yeah, and you'd be surprised. Once we close the deal, how many people want to take us shopping to furnish oh, their new house? Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. But it's awesome when we help them pick up their countertops, their backsplashes, their furniture, like flooring, like even like landscaping, like what to do. So it's, it's fun for us. Yeah. Because we get to combine all our passions together. You not only yeah. find them a house, but you help make it a home. Yeah, exactly. Which is amazing at what you do. So and that's why we like what we do. Definitely. And I can't wait to see your house on Normal Street. You will. So until next time, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh... <laughs> <laughs>